How you doing? This is George Fotonakis in Cypress, California on September the 27th and uh, I had to take down my DirecTV antenna today because it's no longer useful to me but it can be repurposed and all you have to do is take it down from the roof and line it with aluminum foil and take a look if you have your own solar cooker. This is the solar cooker and you can see what it's doing is it's reflecting the rays of the sun back up towards a coat hanger wire that has been straightened out a little bit and then curved and it's holding a hot dog and we can see that that hot dog is now getting the full focus of the sunlight and it's blasting that hot dog with very bright light and you can see it's starting to really starting to blister up and drip some fluids because it's being roasted by a direct TV solar cooker. Now I'll get a little bit closer so you can see this hot dog up close. You can see it's starting to get kind of juicy there and I'll pull away and let you know that this is just the beta test. The next time around we're going to try to put some mirror on this. Instead of just shiny aluminum foil, we'll put a little bit of mirror on here and that will increase the reflectivity and hopefully we'll have a hot dog cooked in a shorter time. This one right now is at about nine minutes and it's starting to drip some juice but I think we can get a lot better than that with some mirror on here. So there's an example of how you can take a parabolic curve and put a shiny surface on it, shoot it up at the sun, and get a reflection hot enough to roast a hot dog. Greeks were said to have done this and used their shined shields and toasted a few battleships coming in that were trying to attack them and turned into roasted hot dogs themselves. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Over and out.